Okay, now we're going to discuss the event part of the node card on your map. So let's say we had our squad here and it moved forward and it was in this location on this node. Looking at that, when we got to our event portion of the sequence of play, that's when we're going to look at the event string and that's the number listed there at the top left of the node card. Here we can see that is a 4 plus slash A, but that can be any of a number of different things, including special events that will only happen on certain maps or like this one, A, B, C, that will be listed down on your enemy card and those denote combat. Now, one thing you do specifically need to keep in mind is that an event will only happen once. So once you've completed an event, you can mark that node as complete. So if your squad passes back through, you will not perform another event check for that node. However, if you haven't completed it, but you've left the node and then come back to it, yes, at that point, you will perform another event check. We're going to get into event checks and how they're all played out more specifically later on. Just understand for now, when we reference the event, it's going to reference the numbers up top. So four plus slash A, and this is going to be telling us that when we do a random number generation, if it is four or higher, whatever happens after the slash, in this case, it's A, is going to take effect. And then you would randomly generate enemies, in this case, from the class A column. One last thing when it comes to events, if it's listed down as an auto, that means it's automatically going to happen and you're not going to have to do a random number generation for that one. It will automatically happen when your units, when your squad actually enter that node location.